What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the newest film released on demand this weekend and that is Capone. This movie is written and directed by Josh Trank, a very favorable director in Hollywood. And this movie stars Tom Hardy as Al Capone and also Linda Cardellini is in this film as well. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that like and subscribe button for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. Capone is of course the film diving into the life of Al Capone who was played by Tom Hardy. After his 11 year prison sentence he returns to Florida where he's living out his days, he's suffering from dementia, he's having constant nightmares and it's just a film about his life. Josh Trank is a filmmaker that has gotten a bad reputation on his back. Directed Chronicle, I still haven't seen that yet, apparently that's a great found footage superhero film. And he also directed that that movie. Yeah, let's just forget that even came out. I didn't know what to expect going into this movie. I saw a trailer for it. I just found out about it off of the bat. It was coming on demand. And I looked really not interesting to me. But anyway, it's a new release movie and we need those now. And I checked it out on Amazon Prime this morning. What did I think of it? Eh. Uh, not good, you know? Did this movie have potential? Yes, it did. It had a cool vision behind it, but when I was just watching the movie, it nothing really was interesting at all. And it just had a lot of potential that kind of fell flat. I think the ideas and the visions Josh Trank had for this movie were really interesting and well thought out of how he really wanted to portray Al Capone's life. I do think the film explores what this guy went through in dementia and presents it in a cool way whenever he is having these flashbacks or his nightmares. Tom Hardy tries his best in the role. Tom Hardy is hands down one of the top five best actors working today. This guy is super talented. I've talked so much about Tom Hardy. I mean, Warrior, Dark Knight Rises, Inception, Mad Max Fury Road. Tom Hardy is just great. But as Al Capone, though, it is a very, you know, weird take. It does seem like that role Tom Hardy would be interested in. And just how he does the Al Capone accent is very... Odd. Linda Cardellini's also in this movie. You know, she's Hawkeye's wife, and I really liked her in Green Book. She's been taking on more of these, you know, realistic roles, and I do think she was good in this movie. I would say out of all the cast members, she was probably my favorite, even over Tom Hardy. I think the cinematography in this movie looks fantastic. Just like, you know, any type of crime gangster movie, it has pretty bland cinematography, but... In this movie, it did look really nice, especially for an on-demand release. It has interesting, unique action sequences throughout the film like you expect from a gangster film, but I do think Josh Trank's direction in here for some scenes were pretty unique, but also really bad. The biggest issue with this movie is for sure the script. How it balances Al Capone's storyline as well as issues throughout the script, it's completely bland. Al Capone's a very interesting gangster person in real life, and the way they do portray him in the film, you do kind of sympathize with him and his disease he's dealing with, with his dementia. He has these freakouts, and he's just imagining things, and I guess the film... The way they betrayed him just didn't really connect with me personally. There's also scenes with his son. He doesn't have really any communication with him. And whenever they do have scenes of just those two, it just didn't feel earned. Especially in a certain scene towards the end that's just like, okay, I saw it coming and I didn't feel anything. I also think the attempted bits of comedy just felt really bland. There's a scene in the film when they're watching The Wizard of Oz and he's singing as the cowardly lion. I just thought that was really cringeworthy as heck. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts on Capone, if this is your first time checking out my channel and you enjoyed hearing my thoughts, then please smash that like button. It really helps with the algorithm and consider clicking that subscribe button because I do tons of movie reviews on this channel and doing a lot of classic reviews during this quarantine. I also do 
ranking videos, Blu-ray videos every month. And the best thing is I do this on a weekly basis. Capone was eh. Like, you know, it's just uh, a Capone movie, you know. Okay, uh, Capone was not great, but it had potential. I mean, Tom Hardy tries his best in the role, but I just think the story and the comedy bits in here just felt really forced. I wanted more of a connective storyline with what's going on, but it just felt like a generic bland gangster film. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Capone a C-. There you have it guys, that was my thoughts on Capone. Have you guys checked out Capone yet on demand? And what were your thoughts on it? Did you love it? Think it was okay or did you absolutely hate it? Look forward to more videos dropping this week. I'm gonna have a review out tomorrow for Nightcrawler. Looking forward to that, as well as a top 10 favorite movie directors video. Look forward to those. Thank you guys so much for watching. All my social media links are in the description below. And I'll see ya in the next video. Bye-bye.